Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Corey from Corey's Tech Time, and today we are looking at the Nokia T20. So this has not been my tablet of choice or the tablet I've been using as of late. I moved to the Pixel tablet. Uh, however, um, this device did pick up the Android 13 update last week, and I've been using it off and on. And I must say that the update is welcomed, um, but it hasn't done much in way of, in terms of like, just with the performance performance still seems a bit sluggish to me it's it is okay i mean this is a budget tablet so um you do have to keep that in mind but yeah as far as it getting android 13 i think uh that is a big deal um nokia stuck to their promise and they provided two major os updates which this thing launched with android 11 and then last year it got android 12 and then now this year it has received Android 13. So as far as what's new is, is what you see here is that at a glance widget, this is the new one. This came preloaded on the device after the update. Um, the bar down there is still the same. And then the other thing that I noticed was if you just pull down on any part of the screen, on the home screen, it just brings down your notification shade. I do wish they would have made this like a like a dual um, column setup, like similar to the Pixel tablet, but they went with this layout for some reason. And yeah, things move okay. I mean, <laughs> again, it is a budget tablet, but when this thing launched with Android 11, it was a lot smoother. So, um, you know, it, I, I guess it is what it is. Um, let's take a look at the lock screen. So here's the lock screen. It is very reminiscent of the Pixel tablet. Uh, nothing really new here um, outside of they finally fixed the date here. This was for some reason within that lock and they finally fixed that. Um, and it only happened when it was in this portrait or, I mean, or this landscape orientation. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you got the same, yeah, that's the same. And yeah, that's all I really noticed. I'm, the face unlock still works. That's the volume bar over there. Let me get this unlocked. Yeah, that still works since the update. But yeah, I mean, things are just a little slow. Um, this is, again, a budget tablet. So I don't really, um, I'm not really mad at Nokia for that. But, you know, as these things get updates, they tend to slow down a bit. And then the other thing that I noticed before I end the video is the settings area. This has that, that dual column setup. This is very uh, similar to the Pixel tablet. And yeah, this is, yeah. And this moves pretty well. So I guess it's, I guess it depends on the app that you're using. And then let's open up the Play Store. Okay, so that opened up pretty good. And you're able to scroll pretty well. All right, let's open up Chrome, see what that looks like. So not too bad. Uh, what about Google News? Not too bad. It's a, it's a little bit of a delay, but not too bad. You know, one bug that I noticed is that instead of it close into the app it kind of closes off to the right and it's like that for just about every app that I opened up oh, except for that one that one worked fine and then let's see this one. Oh, that one's fine as well uh, let's see what else can we open let's open up Feedly see apps load a little slow but that's okay I mean that's it's not a deal breaker again this is a budget tablet and that one kind of shot off to the right. So yeah, I mean, this is, oh, and there's nothing new over here. This is still the same. That entertainment space area, just to the left. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, no, I mean, Nokia did it. They gave us Android 13 and yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, performance is okay um, since the update. And yeah, I mean, 
I'm glad that they did it. I mean, I guess that's the main thing here, right? So that's it for the video. Comments or questions, feel free to leave those. And until the next one, peace.